All right, this video is for ASUS and their tech support for my case. So basically you can see I have a ASUS Z690 Hero board, which I've had since it released. Um, I've got a couple sticks of, maybe it's Triton Z on this, on this G skill, it's 5600 megahertz, uh, 64 gigs. Uh, I've got right here an ASUS Tough 4070 Ti. I've got right here an MSI is it Sprung? 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 <laughs> uh, X4080. Um, over there is the EVGA 3090 that I had in here before this. I do have a bunch of more cards. All the 30 series cards from benchmarking on my channel. Um, I did have a 4090 that worked on here back when they released when I put it in with this system. And back when I had that, I did not have the Intel Octane installed. And I only had two drives in. I had one of the 980 Pros, I had it in the top slot, and then I had the 99 Pro in the bottom slot. And actually, before I had the 99 Pro in the bottom slot, I had the 98 Pros. Um, but everything worked. And what happened is I got a hold of a Asus Strix 4080 OC, and um, there was no signal. So the minute I put in, no signal. I'm like, well, this isn't right. I took it, sent it back. New egg, they sent me another one, I put it in, no signal. So then I called ASUS, went through the tech support. They said, send the card back in. But right here, everything's working. You can see the 4070 is working, but we cannot get this at boot. So if I go ahead and shut this down, what we're gonna have to do is go through a process. It's, it takes four boots to get everything up and going. Um, Basically, it's the same thing NVIDIA said with uh, their firmware update tool is what you've got to do. But I've found out over going through this several different times is that I don't need to go um, to boot the compatibility. I don't need to set up dual integrated graphics. Um, I found it is helpful to go ahead and put in the PCI uh, display only or whatever. Um, but integrated graphics still works. And if I can plug integrated graphics in, dude, my systems, I don't like them to, you know, I turn them apart and benchmark stuff quite a bit with them, but I, I really hate plugging and unplugging things all the time. So I'm gonna fire it up. What's gonna happen is the BIOS is not gonna show the card. We're gonna see, um, Actually, I should probably take out the integrated graphics to show that it's not going to work. So, I mean, we just had everything up working. We're going to be on. Come on. Display port. System's booting up. So, this is the display port 1.4 is what I have. I don't think it's 1.4A. Um, but I believe these cards are backwards compatible to 1.3, 1.2. There's the, it's a nice card. The clock's really good, um, especially with the price point. Um, the RGB is going to lose out of that card and get that. So basically, the system's almost fully up. It will be once all the uh, RGB is blue. And we have nothing. So what I'm going to do is which we should have seen uh, the BIOS post, we should have seen the ASUS logo, <clears throat> and we didn't. So now we have DisplayPort plugged in still, and we're gonna go ahead and plug in the integrated graphics into the 13900K, which is a pain, because I have a, I guess you call it a dongle, it's right in the way of it, but I'll get it. All right, we're plugged in. So now the display should come on, boom. And this is the same case if I run the 48. But you can see that no NVIDIA control panel. And we can see that right here in device manager, there is only the Intel graphics going. So what we do now is we're gonna go ahead and Restart, and I'm gonna go on the BIOS and set the graphics to PCI only, which 
doesn't really matter. It just helps that it's kind of locked in there because what happens is the system will automatically switch it to uh, the CPU for integrated graphics, even if it's an auto, which is a pain. But I mean, this should all work. This has got to be an issue with the motherboard not recognizing the 4070 Ti or the 4080. Um, so we're going to the BIOS and I've messed with the BIOS, changed a lot of configurations around, reset the CMOS, everything, but basically we want to go right to here, graphics, and we want to take this and lock it to PCI. Now this does not mean it's going to work. It just means that this will keep it more like that it will keep it from switching back, even though it still switches back. We don't need to turn that on to get integrated graphics to work with a dual boot. Um, we do not need to go into this, which if I boot, this will come up and I can turn it on, but you, I think there's an option where you're not supposed to be able to run compatibility mode with integrated graphics. It just kicks it back. All I know is the BIOS kind of reset itself over and over, but if I put it just in PCI for primary display, we will get integrated graphics still to work and I will get the display to work, but it's not gonna be on this boot. It's gonna be on the second reboot. So it's like Windows is seeing it and bring it up, um, but we will have both displays workable. Um, the integrated graphics will be fine and the 4070 Ti through the split board graphics will be jacked up, but I will be able to unplug the integrated graphics and then the 4070 Ti through the display port will be fine, but it will still show both drivers are operating. So then what I have to do after that is one more reboot, and then I will be up and fine running with just the 4070 Ti and be able to access it with Armor Cray um, with no issues. The only problem is the minute I shut the computer down or I try to install certain drivers where it has to reboot, it will revert back to the same stuff. And you see, I, I only have the one drive in right now. I've pulled those. Um, I wanted to eliminate any possible issues. This processor only has like 20 lanes, I believe. So what we're gonna do right here is we're not gonna see yet. So let's let it boot up, Windows load everything up. Now, we're gonna restart. <clears throat> now what's gonna happen is that Windows can see the 4070 Ti. It will have the option to switch to DisplayPort and use it, but it'll still be on integrated graphics. This is like a four boot process. And until I figured out that I just only switched the display, primary display to PCI, it used to be a longer process because what happens is the BIOS would keep sending it back to CPU, integrated graphics under primary display. And now I know there's an issue with this here and the motherboard not seeing the cards is because there is the 3090 I've been running for quite a while that was in here working with everything just fine before this. I'm going to plug the 3090 in and I will get the ASUS logo to boot up. I'll get the option to go into the BIOS, all that. Where with the 4080 and the 4070 Ti, I get nothing. Now we should see the control panel, yes. Um, but there's one issue. We are right now are going to be on integrated graphics. We go to display port and it is going to be We'll call it jacked up. It won't load up any better than that. Um, you can kind of do some things like that, but it has some issues. So what we got to do right now is we got to go unplug the integrated graphics with HDMI. And the only reason I use HDMI is because that's what's supported on the motherboard. So now we're up and working and we can see it right here. But if we go into device manager, we can see that both drivers are up. So this causes a problem where the integrated is in interference 
with the 4070 Ti, it causes things not to probably work. So we do one more reboot. And Windows kind of has the 4070 Ti locked in now. And we will no longer have integrated graphics interfering with the 4070 Ti and we'll be able to use it. We'll be able to access it through Armor Crate, um, update drivers, but the latest driver by NVIDIA does have some issue to where it doesn't properly install at times. I did properly install, I put the 3090 back in and properly installed it and got it working, but um, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's a problem because if you try to update drivers and it has to restart, it may come back up because of Windows, but if not, what happens is that um, it'll go back to no display signal. You have to plug the integrated graphics in to get it to work again. And I've seen this issue with a few other people with the uh, Z690 chipset. So, and I see that the Z, Asus Z790 Hero has had a driver update. So I don't know if that eliminated the issue with them. I almost bought the board. Knew they had it for like 618 bucks, but why buy it? This board is like almost identical. And I'd rather buy when I've got a, a new processor coming out, which I just got. So now what we can do is we can go into here and see device manager. that we are only on the 4070 Ti. So now you can see the RGB dropped for some reason. What I can do is go into Armor Crate and Armor Crate will be able to see the graphics card now. There it is. It's up and working now everything will work pretty much fine with this system like this even though there's no display when the cards originally booted up and i had to do a little switch back and forth to integrated graphics but i'd say it's not 100 percent perfect there's still a little bit of issues in the background it might have to do with the drivers so um, i noticed one thing is with this version of windows i have which is the latest windows version of like is it 22h2 i'm not sure but it's the latest version and with the uh, the new drivers, there seems to be a little bit of an issue too, but I don't think that's the problem. I think just the motherboard is not seeing the 4070 Ti or the 4080, and that doesn't seem to matter with the extra drives installed or not installed. Um, so, I mean, basically if you put a graphics card in, you boot, you should see that ASUS logo, and you should see the, the BIOS option if it's there to enter in the BIOS. You don't see that, it's just black screen the whole time. Um, these cards are updated with the 1.2 um, firmware update by NVIDIA. Uh, this one right here, the 4080 came like that and the 4070 came like that. The Strix 4080 OCs, I think I needed to update it, but it's still an album. So this hopefully should help you guys out in as far as fixing everything. Let me try to get a little more information for you guys. latest driver so I mean the only thing I can think of that there's something to do with maybe Intel Octane I didn't have Octane installed when I was doing the 4090 benchmarks and it worked it booted up fine just like the 3090 but it shouldn't be an issue and I did go back on one of my old old system drives I think these two are current with backups, this one here is about six months old, and this is back to Windows 10 before Windows Update. I did install this one here and um, do some current updates for drivers, and it still did not work with the 4080 or the 4070 Ti. So using the Intel storage matrix, um, having it on or off for RAID didn't seem to make an effect, and you can see I removed the drives, so that frees up any option. I mean, only 20 lanes, and I'm using only 20 lanes probably. So that shouldn't be an issue there. So it's gotta be something with the UEFIs, um, compatibility issue with the motherboard, possibly Intel, management engine could be interfering, but most likely maybe it's Microsoft. And uh, the latest updates, like I said, if I try to roll the driver back from this driver right here, Windows will say it's incompatible with this version of Windows. Um, but hopefully this is enough for you guys to fix it. Good luck and thanks.